So hey what's up guys it's MCPE Panda Gaming back in another video of Shadow Fight 3 and yeah I'm sorry I'm late I've been a bit busy lately but yeah at least I'm happy that I made it back Today we are about to talk about what we actually know till now about the Void storyline As you know Neki actually confirmed a new storyline about Void is coming and today we are about to discuss what we know till now about Void storyline so without any further delay, let's hop into the video. First, let's talk about Marcus. In King's Tournament, we got a mini event about him. In the event, we fight a shadow of the Warlord Marcus. Magmarian claims that the real Warlord Marcus is trapped and it needs our help to free him and bring peace all over the void. Now let's talk about the funny details. First, Holmes somehow knows about the void. He claims he couldn't talk further about the void, which is a proof that he knows somehow much about it. Secondly, Magmarian claims that he is called the Death of Demons. That's strange because till now we saw many demons alive in Shadow Fight 3, but this may hint something serious about him. But be assured that he hasn't touched any of our favorite demons yet cause all of them are alive. If Magmarian takes our help to save Marcus in Void storyline, we may know more about him and there would be a huge plot if we come to know Magmarian is an entity from the species of Volcano. Next we talk about Xander or Shan Tzu, whatever you call him. He submitted his soul to the demons in order to learn to fight like them. At the end of his adventure, he said that he wanted to know how to use those cleavers by sacrificing his soul. So here's the thing, we may see Shan Tzu back in the Void storyline and he might use cleavers as a weapon or just add the weapon in his three faction fighting style. Interesting thing is he doesn't have his soul anymore so I really want to see what he will become. So yeah, I'm personally excited for comeback of Shan Tzu. Next we will be talking about the Collector. It is said that the Collector is nothing but an evil ancient. It is confirmed that the Collector is none but the father of the Emperor who was called the Emperor of the Nine Seas. He was a cruel emperor who was cruel to literally everyone in the dynasty. Well one day he disappeared suddenly which is said that he got to the void and became the collector. E2 became the new destroyer of the epoch. It is noticed by the dialogues of Nemos in Ishtar's adventure that he was a bit afraid of the previous destroyer of the epoch, but he defeated him or her. After that a new destroyer of the epoch was hired by Stranger, which was E2. Actually I'm interested to know why E2 sided with Stranger when Nemos basically told him about Stranger and we saw that he also hated Stranger in Gates Plane. I think it might be E2 not from Gates Plane. Excited to know more about him in Void storyline. Now, the biggest plot of the adventure was Stranger lived after Gates playing. In the New Year event, he revealed that he was saved by someone. In Ishtar's adventure, we came to know that we formed a truce with him and the demons in order to free the Void. So basically, he is an ally of us now, but there's a chance of us betraying them in the Void storyline, since we know they don't want control over the Void for good. In Void storyline, we may also know various things about Stranger like his origin. His savior including why he wants to revive his homeland so badly. I believe Stranger's villain lore is remaining because he honestly has more potential than the Collector. Like come on Son of Shadow should be a more serious villain than the Emperor of Nine Seas. Let's see what he brings for us in the Void storyline. Unpopular opinion, but we know he's a lot smart, so yeah there might be a chance he may control over the Void exploiting our health. He will surely be an important ally for us. 
In the Maze of Immortality event, we came to know that he knows the Void too well. I personally liked him as a character, and I just hope he won't turn out to be a betrayer like his own father. She is definitely returning in the Void storyline. At first in Shadow Fight, two Widow used to manipulate people. When I heard that she opened an infamous shop in Dynasty, I was thinking she turned good. But oh boy, indeed I was wrong. She's using her fabric to gather a group of sims creating an army of her own. Yeah, she's the old widow we always knew. Void Anibots arrived from Void said to have every functions in the worldly bots we fought like Kitsu Nanami and many more. The Void Anibots are offsprings or created from Nanami Genesis bot. This bot is called the mother of the Anibots. Well, in Ida's plane being inspired by Nanami Genesis Okada, created the bot Nanami. So yeah, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. Also feel free to join our Discord server in the link in description. I'll see you all in another video. Till then, farewell.